Buenas. Les voy a pedir que vayan. So please go back to your seats. Before giving the floor to the next speakers, as I said before the break, we have several spaces where you can contact LACNIC. Can I have the slide, please? So, for those who are interested in consulting this topic, you can visit their website. That is a QR code. And we will be at the LACNIC booth in those times. So, can I have the next presentation, please? This is a presentation, a special presentation that we wanted to share with you this morning. I'm going to give the floor. To Ricardo Patara, Esteban Lescano, and Jorge Villa, who are the members of the ASO in the region. Good morning. This is not a typical informative meeting of ASOAC, but we want to tell you about a process that is taking place globally and requires all your participation as a community. This process involves update, the update of a document, which is ICP2. This is a very important document that has to do with the rec uh, recognizing the regional internet registries. So I give the floor to my colleagues from the ASO, Ricardo and Jorge, so they can tell you more about this process. Good morning. This is a space where I see people who are most interested in what we're going to share with you. So we will try to meet your expectations. Let me also tell you that we have people from the world of the Internet here. We're going to have Ricardo with us and Esteban already introduce himself. Ricardo will be with us, who will be telling us more about the world of the Internet. This is a space for young people, in other words, people aged under 150 years. And I think this will be very interesting. So I will ask Ricardo a couple of things who will kindly be telling us about this. So I'm going to tell you Tell us about what ASOAC is. Hello, good morning. It is a pleasure to be with you today and tell you about ASO, but also a very important topic that we'll be sharing with you later on. The next slide explains this. So what is ASO and how who is part of ESO. ESO is a support organization at ICANN. There are many support organizations like the number section, the experts, and also one on the numbers. So that is ASO, which is the supporting organization to the numbers part at the Internet, number resources. So ESO provides support to ICANN's board in the field of policies involving the internet number resources. We also play a role in the coordination of global policies that involve assignments from IANA and PTI to the RIRs regarding the non-assigned resources. In addition to that, the role of designating, appointing two directors to ICANN's board. So ASOAC 
uh, has the address council, which is a council that supports the ASO. There are five persons in the address council, but right now we are in a special situation where we don't have the 15 persons. And let me explain why. So each region in the world that has an RIR, a regional internet registry, appoints three individuals to become part of the address council. Two are selected, appointed by the community, and a third person is appointed by the RIR in the region. So this is the composition, and I was telling you there are 13 right now. In the Afrinic region, we are in a special situation where this is a blank space, and in addition to that, at RIPE, Sandra, who's here, and is now part of RIPE's board. So this is a vacancy that will be filled in the October meeting at RIPE. In bold type, you have the chairs and hold chairs who help in the ASO process. So I think everyone has taken note. So maybe we'll have questions afterwards. Ricardo, now we are at a meeting of the Internet Regional Registry meeting. How does this issue of the regional registries come up so that we can better understand the context where we are moving? Yes, as I mentioned, the ASO is composed by individuals who are appointed by the regional registries, but we are LACNIC, LACNIC is one. So here we have a timeline explaining how these registries arose. The oldest one, RIPE NCC. There are two words here. We have RIPE, which is a community, and RIPE NCC is the regional registry in charge of managing the resources. This was created in 1992. So RIPE NCC and APNIC were created by the internet community, by the regional operators. They got together, they became organized. And they saw the need of having an entity that could help in managing the internet resources. So RIPE NCC was established in 1992, APNIC in 1993, and later on ARIN in 1997, at a time where InterNIC managed the resources in the United States and in North America decided to separate these functions, and they created ARIN at the time. So. In 1998, ICANN arose. The ASO is a support organization of ICANN. And later on, references made to LACNIC and EFRINIC. They still were not regional registries, but there was there were communities in the two regions who spoke and discussed about the idea of creating a regional registry. So, we are already there, and as you mentioned, many of those uh, national registries uh, were created uh, based on the needs of the community. However, it's not that uh, ICANN appeared uh, as an organization coordinating topics related to um, domains and uh, numbers in the internet. Uh, how did this uh, become, well, uh, what, how did it lead to the creation of a LACNIC and AVRINIC? Was that a spontaneous process in the community, or were there any rules uh, created or documents that would lead, that would uh, improve that process. Well, it's important to mention that until the creation of ICANN, the organizations got created and organized. ICANN is the entity that coordinates the numbers and domains. So it uh, has a role 
for what would uh, come later. So at the time, we in 2001, they published a document that was very important in uh, that scenario. When uh, the uh, registries were created, and uh, that is part of this presentation that is uh, ISP2, the document that needs to be updated. So that is the document. So this was published in uh, July 2001, and at the time, it was created specifically for the knowledge of g new regional registries because the the community was already active, and uh, there were uh, there was the need. For, well, I can I was uh, at the time the organization that played the role of coordinating. Uh, these entities. That document, at the time, it was written with the coordination of the existing uh, RIRs at the time, RIPE, um, uh, ARIN, uh, and but also with the coordination of ASO within ICANN. Now, some interesting things about the document. They establish the criteria that must be met by an organization if they are to become an RIR, and it's actually 10 items, but let me mention just a few that are key. For instance, having the support of the community. If we remember that uh, APNIC, RIPENCC, and DARIN were created by the community, there you see that there's a support of the community. There's a need to, ide to identify it by the community, and this is one of uh, the uh, uh, things in that document, uh, ICP2, that the uh, community of internet uh, providers in this region should support the idea and later on should support the entity that uh, was uh, created and an independence too in order for this uh, to meet all the interests of the operators and a process for the cre for uh, policy uh, creation so you know that the RIRs have their political uh, the policy forum, the uh, public policy forum, they need to have a process uh, for managing their resources. And so what happened with LACNIC and AFRINIC? Well, so with that document, with the ICP2, that uh, made it possible for ICON to assess the request and to uh, determine whether the, the criteria are being met and uh, the RIRs could be created. Then we go back in uh, time, and uh, there we had no, two new RIRs that we know today. So, if you can move uh, two slides uh, uh, forward. Yes, and there we have an updated timeline icon in, uh, in 1998. The, man, the document that I mentioned was in 2001, and that made it possible for LACNIC in 2002 and AFRINIC in 2004 to be recognized as regional registries for the two regions. And it's an it's important to say that both organizations met all of the requirements included in the ICP. All of the requirements, all the needs, the documentation, everything was presented to ICON. They analyzed it and they uh, pointed out that indeed they were meeting all the requirements. So the regional registries were created based on uh, the criteria. Uh, supporting the creation of the RIRs. So tell me, why is it important to update those principles 20 years later? What has happened since, and wh why is ICON involved in this topic? Well, 20 years f uh, for first forward, uh, a lot changed um, in uh, the Internet uh, and its governance the administration of the resources, not just numbers and names, but that somehow reflects on the need to update the documents because the challenges differ. Although the principles and the criteria described in ICP2 are preserved, and that's important, 
they saw a need to add additional principles. For instance, that the RRs uh, should uh, maintain um, loyal to the criteria continuing with uh, and the policy processes and maybe the most extreme case um, seeing the need for instance to remove one of the roles of the RRSM that should be contemplated in the new document. At that time, uh, in 2001, the greatest concern was creating the RRS, but now 20 years uh, Later, there are new challenges and there are new change, uh, needs, and that is why the document is being revised. So, uh, ASO, uh, ASO asked uh, the AC to um, lead that process, uh, uh, updating ICP2 to write a new release of the document so as to strengthen, improve the uh, IRR's responsibility. Uh, on the system uh, and vis-a-vis -vis the, com the internet community and the new document will be drafted with the assistance of all uh, the internet community. So tell me very quickly, how do you plan to do the process? Well, there you see the timeline. This was a, a bit of this was already presented in May in Panama, but there were some changes in October 2023, the uh, NROEC requested the update, and from January to September 2024, the ASO uh, AC, um, well, we worked on uh, that uh, document that includes the principles that uh, need to be maintained in the new version of the document, and now it's time to uh, uh, consult everybody. So from October to November, this is the time when you, the community overall, can submit your comments. There's going to be a survey. So after, after we complete all of the comments, well, based on that, we're going to draft the draft of the new version of ICP2, as a matter of fact. It's a new consultation, and now we're with the, about the document that replaces ICP-2. And where can I find that information? Well, these documents, or the, the document of the principles that need to be preserved to write the new version of ICP-2, uh, everything is there, available there at the URL, so you can access that document and to verify what the principles are. And all the principles that were in the ICP-2 that uh, are published so far are there. We added some others, and you can uh, consulted that there in that URL. I want to thank Ricardo for his explanation. I hope that you all took notes and you can ask further questions. And now let me give the floor back to Esteban, our coordinator, who will uh, wrap up this session. Thank you, Jorge and Ricardo. It was really very interesting to hear everything you said. I think that we have an opportunity to be, get engaged with this global process, and so it's very important for all of us to answer the survey. It won't take you longer than 10 minutes. We are going to have the QR there and during the breaks and uh, these days of session so that you can answer. It is very important to receive your feedback answering each question. These are questions that uh, have uh, to do with uh, that input. ASO, ASO AC will continue to work, and as Ricardo said, we'll need, we need to draft a new version um, uh, with your feedback. So thank you for participating, and if you have any questions, we'll be here at the event so that you can ask questions directly to us. Thank you. Thank you, the three of you. I don't know whether anybody has any questions or whether there are any questions uh, via Zoom. As Esteban said, they're going to be here all week, so if you have any questions about this topic, well, and 
Uh, reinforcing what Esteban just mentioned, we are going to be reporting on this uh, in future weeks. Uh, the information will be accessible in Spanish too, so we invite you to answer the questionnaire that uh, was uh, made public today. All the information has been published. So now, 